Hi everyone, Quids here. Well, I haven't done any videos for a little while, as I've been trying to learn how to use Inkscape to create my own wallpapers and backgrounds. So this is one I finished off today. It's from uh, an old Super Nintendo game. It's called Super Metroid. That's Samus there, the character you play in the game, and she's just killed off the last boss, known as Mother Brain. And the background's fairly similar to how the room used to look in the game. So let's have a look at that. There's the book. And there's the original picture. So yeah, that spiky head menace there, that thing, that one. And that's Samus in her suit. But if you complete the game fast enough then you actually see she's dressed up like that. That's pretty good. Anyway, here's a drawing in Inkscape that I did. So there's all the layers that I used for the image. So quite a few. I started with uh, just a line art initially. So I coloured that in. That's the first thing I did. So, so just basic two dimensional colouring. Then you add, add the various bits of light to make it look three dimensional. So I split this off into alpha layers light and dark. So that's light shading, and that's the dark shading. And that sort of makes it look three dimensional. So if you turn off the underline fill, you can see how it really looks with the, the shading. It looks a bit weird really, but it works when you put it all together. So for the brain, again, start with the lines, put some spikes on it. Oops, that's the, the lines, the, uh, the texture and the lines. Line, that's what I wanted. Just one alpha layer in this one for the light. It's not quite so complicated that one. Then the fill, well, it contains a texture around there, and that's just sort of coloured in with the edges darkened. Let's have a look at some of that again. So you can see there's a texture there. So use one of Inkscapes built-in filters to produce that, filters, textures, and I think I chose, what was it, plaster or something for that one, can't see it now, anyway, one of them, so yeah, I've done the, the foreground part, so I also did the background, Again, that's the lines of it. A bit more filling on this layer. And they're objects. Just put all that lot together because there's four of them. It made it a bit easier to copy. Yeah. And another alpha layer. And an alpha layer of the pillar. I don't know why I separated those now, but I did. And then put the fill on. The ground has a texture on it. Again, that was another of these filters that I used, textures, and that was cracked glass for that one. Again, just have a look at the background. Sorry to fill up the background, I meant. There. It'd be really slow here because it's got a lot of texture drawing to do. So that's what I used. Right. So anyway, when you put it all together, you get a completely realistic looking image. There. And that's a, a brief overview of how I created it in Inkscape. Looking at some of the work I did on it initially. So I'll save some of the work in progress I did. So I started it on the 11th of August and finished it 11 days later on the 22nd. Yeah, our starting point. That was like the first day of drawing that was. Second day. So I started, I drew a brain in and Samus and some highlights on her hair. 
<laughs> Bit of a joke for one of my mates, giving her a camel toe. <laughs> you can see I've done some more work on the highlights there. It's a bit jagged there. It's smooth. That's her eyes. Again, did them in Inkscape separately and then imported it in as an object. You can see the detail there, but when you go and zoom in, yeah, kind of loses it a bit. But if you create it there and when it's shrunk, it sort of works. Yeah. And that's the model I used for drawing Samus. I traced around that one. It does look a bit different now. I did do quite a bit of editing afterwards. There. Yeah. So I went about creating it. If you've got any questions on Inkscape or how to use some of the features or draw some of these backgrounds, then please put them on the comments box below and I'll try and help out. Now, if you want to download a copy of this background, uh, put it on my DeviantArt profile at quidsup.deviantart.com. There's a couple of other pictures I created in there. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.